freak. How things have changed in cell phones. Yep, you got that right. CB Radio, the original social network. That's right. That's what it was, too. Hey, all Johnny Mullet here with another CB Radio video. I got a new rig for my ride. Um, I've been driving the 2017 Mirage. Um, the Geo Metro has been parked because uh, it's falling apart. Poor little guy, but uh, we got a new car. I'm going to make a video on that. And I've been driving the 2017 Mirage, and I was trying to find a modern CB radio for this car that looked good and performed well. And a little bit of trial and error and messing around with different radios, I finally found the one I wanted. Um, it's made by Anytone, and it's called the AT500M. This is a export radio. It has a lot of bands on it, and uh, I think it goes from 24 megahertz all the way up to 30 megahertz, and uh, it's AM and FM mode, no sideband, but in the mobile, I really don't need sideband. I don't try to make skip contacts or anything, and I've been testing it out, and I can talk to my buddy on his base station 14 miles away on AM mode, so and that's pretty good and i can even contact him in the afternoon time you know after work and get through all the noise and skip and still make contact which is really really good so let's check this little radio out i think you're gonna like it it's pretty cool this radio still sound all right got good modulation oh yeah sounds great now that you're in the hood 10-4 on the hood, walking over to Skip, walking and talking. I'm leading the pups, kicking the cats. Hell yeah. All right, guitar picker, I'm going to be backing in the driveway, so I'll talk to you later. 10-4, turn the radio on in the car while you're out in the garage listening. All right. All right, man, have a good one. How about a guitar picker? You got a copy on the mullet man, the mullet man in the garage. We are indoors and checking her out. Hell yeah, I got a copy on the mullet man in the garage. 10 4, just want to make sure this thing's making the trip uh, five miles away, all the way up to your place inside the door. <laughs> 10 4 on the inside of the door, loud and clear. All right, Roger, Roger. I will talk to you later. Ten four, Lala Man, Mobile in the garage. Okay, real quick. Here is the Anytone AT five hundred inside the two thousand seventeen Mitsubishi Mirage. I got it set to orange to match my display, so that looks pretty cool. As you can see, it's a very nice compact radio, nice and small, and it's got a very, very large LCD display, which is really, really cool. Um, I got the microphone right here on a uh, two-sided tape microphone holder. I never use the auxiliary port on the radio, the factory AM FM radio, so that works out good for me. So here we go with the Anytone AT500M. Look at this thing here. Like I said, it's got a lot of bands. You can see it's on D-band right now, and that is for CB mode. It's got a uh, channel up and down. It also has the alpha channels. Uh, if you don't know what the alpha channels are, those are the frequencies that are skipped in the normal CB band. So kind of nice. I'll probably never use them, but it is what it is. Uh, there's the AM, FM button. Squelch is controlled by push button, and then you use your up and down to control your squelch control right there. Let it time out. And your emergency 9 and 19, if you hold it down, you get into your menu. So your menu has, uh, you know, different, you can do a factory reset. You can set your emergency channels, channel 9, channel 19, band name. Um, 
I'm not sure what that one there is. I forget. I'll have to look in the manual. Uh, timeout. Your brightness. You can control the brightness. And in order to change any settings, you got to uh, key the microphone and then arrow up and down. And there's your colors. You can change the colors by holding the button. Whoops, I pressed the wrong button. I think, uh, let me try that again. Hold the emergency button down. I might be incorrect. Uh, let's go through the settings or reset. Emergency one, two. There's your brightness. I think if you hit the emergency, there you go. You can control the brightness up and down just like that. And then hit the emergency button again and you're set. Um, colors, like I said, you can change the color. You got orange, clear, purple, yellow, cyan, blue, green, and back to orange. We're going to leave it right there on orange. So, Roger Beep, uh, you got different Roger Beeps. Uh, we'll turn the volume up here and we're going to go through those. We got number six is the one I'm using now, number five, number four. Number three, number two, number one, that is off, and the one I use sounds pretty familiar. Yeah, you hear that? Just like the old President Radio. So we're going to leave it right there. That's the one I like. And uh, RF gain, I leave that on off. You can adjust your RF gain. Um, repeater, you can also set uh, for repeaters. You can set uh, your tones, uh, 10 meter or 11 meter band. There's your automatic noise limiter and noise blanker. Talk back, you can turn that on or off and uh, change your volume for the talk back. I normally leave that on off, so yeah, there you go. Uh, Vox, if you want to use uh, voice control and uh, microphone type, this is electric microphone. Uh, there's your mic gain. I have it all the way up to nine. I got the high cut on that cuts out a lot of the high static noise and yeah, lots and lots of settings here. Our power, I got it on high. You can see the H right there for high and low. So key beep, that's the beep, beep, beep. We got that on. So yeah, that's, and right back to reset. So there is, it'll time out here and go right back to your normal um, CB mode here in a few seconds. And there is also a secret service menu on this radio where you can adjust the settings, but I am not going to go through that with you guys. I did do it to increase performance and power on this radio. Uh, there is some information on the internet if you look hard enough. Um... You get into the Secret Service menu. If you change anything, please write down what the original settings are so you don't screw it up. So after getting my settings all set on this radio, this thing on low power is 4 watts and on high power, 7 watts on AM mode. If I flip over to FM mode, 17 watts of power right out of this little tiny inky dinky radio. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, it's also got a scan feature. So if you turn the squelch up loud enough, I hate button controlled squelch. Okay, there's a squelch up so you don't hear any noise. And if you want to scan the channels while you're cruising, you just hold your channel button down. And there she goes, scan mode. Every time it picks up a signal, it'll stop and then it'll continue to scan. There's also a setting inside where you can have that time out instead of carrier out. So if somebody's blabbering on and you don't want to continue to listen to the conversation, after so much time, it'll go ahead and scan again. Uh, to get out of scan mode, you simply key up the microphone and uh, back to normal. Normally, I don't use squelch or scan unless it's a real, real quiet day. So we'll go ahead and shut that off. Uh, Super Bowl channel. There is skip coming in. It has really, really good receive. And another thing I was worried about is I was worried about uh, reception on this little radio. But yeah, it's really, really good. I can hear from, you know, far away, distant signals. The speaker even sounds really good. I thought the speaker would be tinny and crappy. But uh, no, it sounds really, really good. Um, I will say this, out of the box, without changing any settings, 
the modulation was a little bit low but after going into the service menu and making a few adjustments she's modulating about 85 percent which is real good so i was able to do a lot of testing with this radio on my base hooked up to the meter and then traveling around talking to my buddies i am very very happy with the anytone at 500 m this thing's on amazon for like 80 bucks and in, in my opinion this is the best new CB radio that you can get that is an export and you don't have to open it up to make a soldering connection or anything like that to get on CB band. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take before they catch on and end up uh, making that feature gone because people are going to start buying these left and right. And technically, according to the FCC, this radio outputs more power than the allotted four watts so breaking the rules breaking the rules anyway this is the anytone at500m just wanted to make a quick video on how cool this little radio is and how it fits inside my little car i do have this paired up with the uh president new virginia antenna that i've been using that little tiny 19 and a half inch antenna and it worked great so no complaints there uh, I got a modern car with a modern antenna and a modern radio. So if you're worried about putting the CB in your car and you want something a little modern and small, this might be your ticket. And it's cheaper than most regular AM radios you can get. I mean, it's a great rig. I'm very, very happy with it. So, hey, thank you all for watching. See you next time.